Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my autumn winter coat edit. Oh, the sun has come out for me. Thank you. So I'm going to be showing you a few of the new coats and jackets that I've introduced into my wardrobe for this autumn winter today. I also have a few new coats to show you from H&M and then I also have a couple more practical jackets to show you as well. But on that note, I am going to do a separate practical winter coat edit or practical winter autumn winter essentials kind of edit i know you guys found that really helpful last year and that one will hopefully be much more helpful to those of you that are in colder climates it's going to be an interesting one to say people we've got some real uk autumn weather going on where it can't decide if we're about to flood or it's very sunny but anyway a practical winter essentials video will be coming up but for those of you that are in much warmer climates i've also tried to throw in a few jackets into this video which i know will maybe not work for you right now but as you go into winter so hopefully over the next few weeks i am literally going to be catering to everyone so if the coats in this video aren't snuggly enough let me live i have got your back i am on it i just didn't want another 30 minute coat edit on my hands this year so before we get started my three favorite types of coats to invest in are number one teddy bear coats they're so cute, so warm and snuggly. You can get them in different like thicknesses so you can kind of really tailor them to where you live. I also love like a thin kind of coatigan style coat, whether it comes with like lapels, ties at the waist, doesn't tie at the waist. I love that kind of slouchy, long, flowy, almost like trench coat, but it's like a really soft fabric kind of vibe. And then I also live for puffer coats as my more practical kind of coat. And those are the three that I tend to gravitate towards every year. So those are the types of coats that you're gonna see crop up here again and again. So with that in mind, I'm gonna get started with a couple of coats that I picked up from Zara that very much fit the bill for the first two categories of coats that I tend to gravitate towards. So the first one is this lovely flowy camel coat from Zara like I said. They tend to do this every single year though I would argue the quality of last year's was much better. It made it into my autumn winter coat edit last year as well. But it's still very lovely though I would argue I think this is more expensive than the type that H&M do. This was £99 but it still has that kind of like almost like creasy almost felty textured fabric. Last year's I would argue was much softer and had better buttons but it is a really gorgeous cut, very simple. The camel tone is so beautiful. It's that perfect like neutral camel where it's like warm but not too warm, not too yellow tone, not too brown. It's just a really really gorgeous camel tone. It comes with a tie waist, not too long, which is fab if you are shorter and if you're taller, it will still be a really nice long line coat. Those of you that are subscribed and you watch regularly will have already seen me try this on in a vlog because you've got a sneak peek. As someone that's five foot two, it's a real treat to get a coat that is just not too long. It doesn't swamp me at all. It's really, really lovely. I think it would look equally as lovely if you are taller. I got a size small and it just does fit really beautifully. I sadly won't be keeping this one because I don't need another camel coat in my wardrobe and the one I've had, I've had from Mango for I think about four years now. I just absolutely love it and it's still lasting really well. It might need a slight debobbling but it's lasted so well and I absolutely love it. So there isn't really space for another camel coat in my wardrobe but this one if you're looking for a camel coat is such a great option. So that is coat number one. Coat number two is one that New Look very kindly sent me. And for those of you that don't love a very heavy coat and prefer to layer, this is a really nice long line jacket, teddy bear fabric. It's so cute. I've got a size eight and it still has like a lot of room in it. So you can definitely take your regular size with this one. It is that really gorgeous camely tone again that I just love so much. It's a really sweet little jacket. It looks really lovely with like a little check scarf as well. It's got nice big pockets. It's a really, really lovely casual coat. And if you're a lover of wearing neutrals, this one will just slot perfectly into your wardrobe. Like I said, looks really cute. With a little scarf. This scarf is a wardrobe investment, but I absolutely love it. It looks so cute with so many of my winter coats. Throw on a little brown bag. So cute. Next up, we are leveling up a little bit from the previous teddy bear coat. We have this coat from Zara, which is just incredible. I think if I had to pick one coat from the high street as my like star of the season so far, this is it. It is so beautiful. It's that perfect, like it's not super thin like the misguided teddy bear coats, which look super thick and snuggly, but in reality, they're only a step up from the new look teddy bear jacket. So 
really not that warm at all they have a little bit more lining that's about it and then you have the likes of like the jane and tash teddy bear coats which are very good dupes for the max mara teddy bear coats this is kind of somewhere in the middle this i would say if you live in the south of england this is like your perfect winter teddy bear coat it's not too thick and heavy so you won't be too warm in it i would say my jane and tash one only comes out if we're having a very very cold winter which apparently we might have this year so maybe i'm gonna be digging it out it's not like the jane and tash one which is very thick and very heavy and you can be a little bit too warm in it sometimes this is like your perfect everyday teddy bear coat it is just gorgeous and i love the tone of it as well like it's such a gorgeous like oatmeal-y biscuity tone really really beautiful i actually haven't seen a teddy bear coat in this color ever and this is another one that will cater nicely for a range of heights too. I also just love the texture of this teddy bear material as well. It feels so premium, so lovely. It's really, really soft, which I find is a rarity when it comes to teddy bear coats. Yeah, absolutely loving this one. It's just gorgeous. So I got this in a size small and the tag says it's 59 euros. So I'm not exactly sure what that is in pounds but that to me isn't sounding super expensive so yeah this is my little all-star for the season i love this one a lot so next up i just want to take a couple of moments for a few winter jackets the first one i'm just going to continue with the teddy bear theme is this one which is one of the items that actually is in my wardrobe this one is not being returned i've been wearing it and loving it it's the cutest jacket i actually popped a jacket like this in my autumn winter coat edit last year but it was a lot thinner and i didn't love it as much it was i would say like a little bit shorter it had different buttons it just wasn't the same like the texture wasn't the same this is the same teddy bear kind of material as the coat that i just showed you which i just love and i've been getting on so well with this texture and material as well which is why i think i fell so head over heels for the longland coat as well but it's in this gorgeous like creamy e crew color it's really really beautiful it looks so cute with a little beanie hat on and then again like a pair of jeans cute boots it's just such a lovely one for every day but i also throw this on with like leggings and trainers as well it's a really great versatile little winter jacket i'm, I'm a big fan of this one my leather jacket choice for this season it's actually this one from H&M, which I picked up a few weeks back. I haven't had a chance to wear this one out yet. I've been really opting for more snuggly pieces, but I'm very excited to get wearing this very soon. I will probably wear this this weekend because I'm not doing anything the first time in literally months that I'm not doing anything so excited so this jacket from h&m is a gorgeous longer more oversized style of leather jacket i love this i think it's so cool it's really nice if you're wearing a pair of leggings and then just like trainers like keeping it super casual but i could also throw this on if i was wearing like a black jumper and like a black skirt and these boots or like trainers or anything like that it's just a really lovely easy casual jacket for this autumn winter it's not too thin but also not too thick and bulky as well i'm really not a big fan of like a super heavy bulky leather jacket i just think they almost swamp me a little bit too much but yeah so cute if you're wearing like leggings and trainers i'll pop a little cut away of me wearing leggings and trainers because i actually just can't be bothered to get changed right now but yeah this is my leather jacket of choice for this season i'm really not vibing with like my cropped leather jackets at the moment so this is just a lovely little change and then i wanted to show you just a couple of my favorite shirt jackets just for those of you that live in a warm climate this one i still have taken the tag out of this and i have actually worn this i'm so lazy with taking tags out this one is from new look and i just think it is the cutest shirt jacket like real chanel -y vibes i love it but it's so cute with just like a pair of leggings and my converse like you can really wear this like in a very very casual way but the chanel vibes really help to dress it up and i absolutely love that it's really nice and thick as well much thicker than any of my shirt jackets that i've purchased from zara which are very very thin much more like shirts than jackets whereas this one is much more of a jacket it's a much thicker like tweed style material and i really love that yeah this is super cute it's a uk size 8 and i think it costs around 34.99 such a bargain 
so cute i'm loving new look for jackets at the moment they've got some really great affordable ones in their store and then we also have this one which is a new one that i pulled for this video this one's actually from misguided and it is so cute much like the new look one it's a lot thicker than your average shirt jacket i would actually say this one is thicker than the new look one and it is in a gorgeous brown and tan houndstooth which i just love i think this is so cute this is a really lovely one for autumn or winter if you're in a warmer climate i just love the neutral tones of this it's a lot softer than your traditional hounds tooth print it's also very soft as well it doesn't look like it would be like it looks like it should just be fabric with this print like printed onto it that is exactly what i was expecting to show up when i ordered this but it's actually like a gorgeous almost like knitted tweed type material it's really interesting actually i was not expecting it to be this nice and this thick and for the quality to feel this good got it in a size 10 so it is a little bit more oversized and i really like that but judging by the fit i think i could have gone for an eight as well so don't feel like you can't go for your regular size do i keep this one though do i keep this one can you guys please let me know? I need you guys to vote in the comments. Okay, so my last shirt jacket is this one from Misguided, which I didn't think was gonna be this color. And I was a little bit thrown when it arrived, but I actually think it's so cute. This color is literally the cutest color ever. I actually have a new pink beanie, which I think would look so cute with this. But I don't know if it is a bit too long for me. What do you guys think? I just love the tone of this. It's like a really lovely pale blushy pink really really cute would look so cute with my scarf this one i think i'd really enjoy like layering over as we go into winter i don't think it would just be an autumn jacket for me i do think i'd get a lot of wear out of this going into winter with like scarves and beanies the quality of this is really great for the price i am really happy with this one it's probably one of my favorites from this video it's very very cute okay we're moving on to the H&M stuff, which I have had a rifle through already and selected my favourite pieces because otherwise we would literally be here all day. So I'm going to kick my H&M coat haul off with a coat that is actually very exciting to me. I already plucked this one out. You may have seen it in the thumbnail. So this coat I wanted to show you guys because I have my mango coat again, which you all go nuts for. Every time I wear it, every time you see me wear it, everyone wants to know where it's from. And sadly, I bought it four years ago. They've never brought it back in the exact same style. Like it doesn't have big lapels and it never had a tie waist either. And mango now never do it without a tie waist and they always have the lapels and i have found something very similar on h&m it doesn't have huge lapels i would say its lapels aren't the same as my mango cotagon the cotagon actually would continue up around the neck it's like real cardigan vibes whereas this is like a coat but in the same style but a very different fabric as well this is much more rough whereas my mango one is much more soft but the overall style is very very similar this one actually has slits on the side which i think is quite interesting if you're wearing like a skirt underneath it's actually quite nice this one is a really lovely like dark tan i'm a big big fan of this whilst it's not identical to the mango coat again it is the closest thing i have found so far apart from one coat from lorna Luxe's in the style range which was very very similar but this is a really lovely one if you're looking for a nice long line winter coat that isn't too heavy and like i said it has the little belt loops you can choose to have it as a tie waist we love those options we love to see it it is a bit more of a stiff fabric but for this coat i would actually put up with that i think it's a really really lovely classic style of coat very very cute this would cover you for day and night and for both like dressier and more casual occasions it's a really really gorgeous coat and like i said i just love the tan tone of it it's a little bit more of a deep warm tone which is really really lovely the only thing i would say though about some h&m coats is that they are a little bit more of a stiff fabric and that does mean when you first start wearing them they almost don't sit as well as they could but i do think over time this kind of material does feel like it would settle but definitely something to consider if you prefer a coat that has a much more slouchy soft fit so whilst i was very excited to show you that coat from h&m because i know so many of you will appreciate how similar it is to the mango coat again i'm actually even more excited to show you the next two coats which i almost feel like are a better alternative though not exactly the same so h&m have started doing these coats which come with this is so hard to show they come with a scarf now this is really annoying for me because i don't know if i want to keep this yet i need to try it on but it comes with a scarf which is currently very much attached 
to the coat and then it is the softest wool blend ever this one feels a lot more like my mango coatigan it's very soft very slouchy it hasn't creased quite as badly as the previous h&m coat so i do think this would be a better one for like everyday wear the reason i worry about this is because i think about if you were like driving somewhere or getting the train somewhere and sitting for a long period of time the coat could just crease and look a little bit disheveled by the time you get to your destination and i don't love that so i do like to try and look for materials that don't look like they're gonna crease too badly and this one has traveled much better you can really tell with lighter coats as well because they are obviously much lighter they show the creases more so this coat is just the most lovely blush like pale blush tone really really gorgeous it's not that like off white kind of ecru color that i'm seeing a lot and to be honest i just don't love it's a lovely very light blush i try not to say nude so much now because nude can be so many different tones it's not really particularly accurate but this one is definitely more of like a pinky tone this is kind of how it looks without the scarf section i think it's really really lovely it's a really great length it falls really nicely it has pockets it's so so sweet i really like this collar bit in particular that is very very similar to my mango coat again so if you're looking for like a coatigan style coat i actually would say this is it and definitely have a look on h&m and i love the fact that it does come with a fully matching scarf i just think that's so cute and you could obviously wear the scarf with other things if you wanted to but yeah this one i think is a real gem a real find this is one of my top coats not only from h&m but from the whole video it's very very cute guys i didn't even get to tell you the best bit it comes in black this is like the ultimate chic coat right here i may have to keep this one it being black makes it feel so smart but the kind of cut and fit of it is so casual it's such a lovely light long line winter coat these coats definitely aren't thick they're not going to keep you super warm like a big chunky teddy bear coat but these will be perfect for layering over autumn winter so yeah this is just super lovely a real winner from h&m for me i really love the scarf element to this i think it just adds a whole new layer of chic to this look like the coat is already very very chic as it is i love this style of coat it just looks so effortless but the scarf on top of it as well is just absolutely gorgeous this style of coat is a real start especially in black i think it would do for so many different occasions you could literally throw it on over leggings and trainers or you could dress it up it is such a lovely versatile coat for autumn winter so next up we have another black coat from h&m i've seen a lot of people wearing this style it has like a much larger lapel than the last coat it has these big chunky cuffs that have like a strap on them almost like military style it's very very long i would say this is actually too long for me it borderline swamps me like the length of it if i turn to the side it's just a bit too much I think for my height, I think if you're taller, this one would be great. Or if you prefer a heavier, warmer coat, this one would be great. But for me, I don't love heavy coats personally. I live in the south of England, so it's not entirely necessary for one. But also, I just don't love coats as it is. So the lighter, the better, really. During the winter, I like to wear a lot of chunky boots. And the chunky boots and this style of coat almost make me feel like I'm wearing, like, dad clothing. Not that my dad ever dressed like this. But... <laughs> but it definitely makes me feel like i'm almost like dressing up in like dad clothes it's a bit too big a bit too oversized for me i got this in a size small really i think i could have done with an extra small but that's always the way with this very oversized style of coat they do do it in a different color which i will show you now this one i have seen a lot of people wearing so yeah hopefully you can see the detail on it a little bit better now that i'm wearing the lighter one really really lovely like the quality of the coat is super nice i have a real gripe with h&m coats because sometimes you get them and they're this weird cheap feeling material that you can literally see every piece of like fluff cling to and there was one that i actually did order in the h&m order got it out and it was already covered in like white fluff it was that bad that coat texture is not for me i'm not sure what the material is but it is not the one these coats are similar in the roughness of that texture but not in how badly fluff clings to it which is great but i do really think that this style of coat is just too too much on me what do we think? Do you disagree? I would love to know if you guys ever hear me say, oh, this is too oversized on me. And you're thinking, no, that is like perfect. I love an oversized look on you. Like, are any of you thinking that? Let me know. Okay, folks, next up, I'm going to show you some cute little puffer jackets. 
These are just a couple that I picked out naturally whilst I was browsing because I liked them. I think this one might be a keeper. I just really love the tone of it. It's like a neutral, but it's not a neutral. I think it's very, very cute. This will be a really lovely one for me throughout autumn and winter. It has the little, what do you call them? These little toggle things. And you can kind of like make it tighter, which I think is great. And I find that that really keeps you warmer as well as like, you can kind of like style things out a little bit more sometimes as well. But yeah, just a really lovely practical little one. I love this one. I'll get so much more out of it. It looks so, so cute. Like a little brown bag across. Even though it's technically a colour, I think it just works really well into my very neutral wardrobe, which I love. Yeah, I got it in a petite size 8. And the great thing about this one as well is that it is a little bit lighter for a bomber jacket, so a really nice one for this time of year. Another one that I saw that I liked, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one, so the tag, the annoying tag is still in. This one is from Misguided. I really liked this one because it had a hood and it's black and I have ruined my Zara one. It got too much wear and it's like worn around the collars. So I still wear it, but it looks really worn. <laughs> like but really really worn i'm to the point where i'm wondering if i could dye it because the color has just like completely worn away around the collar it's really weird yeah i really like this one because it had a little hood very cute it's got the same toggle bit so you can really like cinch it in if you want to i haven't done that that much i think going into winter i definitely would because it just makes all the difference in terms of keeping you nice and toasty i definitely want something if not this one i definitely want something like this maybe a version like this that is a little bit heavier for going into autumn and winter and that could replace my zara one really nicely but this one is very very similar i would say to my zara one it just has a hood which actually makes it borderline more practical and i really like that so if i can't find anything else that is like better quality and even warmer then i will keep this one because this one is a fab little option oh my god you guys i just want to show you one last thing that came in my h&m order this is not a coat but i just thought it was so cute oh so it's like a leopard printy style scarf and I'm pretty sure it's like the opposite on each side and I just thought it was really cute. What do we think? I'm slightly worried about the fact that it is a print and I don't know how much wear out of it I would get as opposed to like a more plain scarf but I do have my checked ones that I've been wearing a lot so maybe, maybe this is for me. I think this would work really nicely with like a cream ecru off-white kind of coat very cute what do we think so that is it for my autumn winter coat try on i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know which coat was your favorite in the comments below i think the star of the show is this one from zara this will be i think the one that i keep but the ones from h&m with the matching scarves i have really caught my heart and i also love the pinky misguided long line jacket so so cute so i am a little bit torn over those and also do let me know if you are up for the practical winter coat edit because i know you guys loved it so much last year we were in the middle of lockdowns and really not allowed to do anything other than go on walks so i know that that was a video that a lot of you needed last year if you need it again this year please do let me know but yeah i hope you enjoyed this autumn winter jacket and coat try on haul and i'll see you guys again very very soon for a new video love you bye